All right, guys, um, the injuries that we had, uh, Trey Lance, obviously, uh, he ended up breaking his ankle. Um, he'll end up getting surgery tomorrow morning. Um, Tyler Croft had as a knee. Um, we'll look at that later when we get some x-rays and stuff. Go ahead. addition to the, the fractured ankle, it's a dislocated compound fracture, anything like that? I'm not sure. What was that look like, Kyle? I mean, obviously his teammates could see him. I, I, they went on their knees immediately. Did you know immediately that yeah, something was told me right away. Um, right, the ref got, I think they worded it to him, so he told me it was real bad. So I got out there pretty fast, and um, the players were out there now. I know you got to keep going. The players got to keep going. But are you almost in a state of shock for a moment or two? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's always tough, especially when it's a big one like that. Um, you know, it was, um, you know, it happened to Jimmy a couple of years ago. That was a little more towards the end of the game um, at Kansas City. Um, but yeah, it's it's tough. It was, you feel for someone so bad. It's very, uh, it's a sad moment. Um, but you don't have time to sit there and um, think about it. You got to get right back to the game. And I thought the guys did a real good job of that. But um, and we were real happy about the win. But it was a little sombering once you get in the locker room and, and you see him and stuff. So, uh, yes, yeah. He's, I mean, he's doing as good as you can. You know, he's, when I went out and saw him, he was just asking me about a couple of the plays before. Um, I asked about some of his reads and stuff. So it's the type of kid he is, and uh, I, I'm hurting for him. So. Kyle, do you second guess at all the decision to run him up the middle, you know, several times, including the time we did get hurt, because he is being exposed to hits like that? Yeah, I mean, any time a guy gets hurt, I wish I didn't call that. Um, but no, that's um, something we were going to do. and. Um, something we would continue to do. And that's a, a football play we believe in and something that gives him a chance to be real successful in this league. Uh, how do you feel Jimmy did coming off the bench and executing? I thought he did a real good job coming off the bench, um, made some real key throws. Um, I thought it got real tough there in the second half with some of that when that rain came back. It was on and off, so you know we had to be a little selective in certain moments. Um, especially it was tough when we lost our run game a little bit um, there in the third, early fourth. Um, Cause it was, it was a little tougher to throw there when the rain started coming, but uh, I was real proud of Jimmy and how he came in and was ready for the moment and uh, help us get a win. Does it look much different to you? What's that? Does it look much different to you? What? Any, I mean, any sign of rust or? Um, no, he looks good. Still, ha still handsome, doing good. <laughs> a very strange training camp whole off season for him. You said you had no question that he was going to be ready if he could call the part. But was there any? And when did you know that he would be just fine if he had a situation like this? Um, the last. I mean, how many, three weeks or whatever, just seeing him in practice, seeing him on the field throwing before um, he officially got back on our team. I mean, Jimmy's played a lot of football. He just had to get healthy. Um, so he got healthy and a um, little behind on reps throughout training camp. But that also happened with him farther ahead than he was his ACL year, where he missed everything with an ACL and um, couldn't do much. And I thought that took him longer to come back from. So, um, you know, he's played what we expected to. Coming back from Trey's injury real quick, it was second and eight. You ran him between the tackles. Your running backs were running well at that point. Why did you feel that was the best call for that situation? Um, would have been better for the second four. Is that what you're implying? Third and six going against a nickel defense that's expecting a pass. It's just a different situation. I was wondering why when um, there's a few options on the play. It could have been a handoff. Um, the DN went up to play. It's the exact same play we ran three plays before that where Debo got a 52 yarder. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And um, nickel, you know, there's not a play out there where there's not a linebacker on the field. So um, that really doesn't change anything. How do you weigh just knowing that it's a risk to run them up? That you saw that in Arizona versus. Do you think it's going to be a successful play? Then I just answer that. It's just after a severe injury and, and seeing something similar happen in Arizona. It's, I guess, just how do you balance the risk versus the reward? Um, just because, I mean, you guys watch other teams in this league? I mean, Buffalo does it all the time um, with their quarterbacks. Pretty normal play. Um, it's part of football, and it's unfortunate that he hurt his ankle on it. But it's, it's a very normal ran play. You guys should watch some other people. Through this, was he unflappable as always? Was there any conversation about, like, are you ready? Can, can you do this? Anything like that? No, we. I mean, we don't sit there and talk like that. I mean, we're on headsets, we're getting ready, and a guy's down, and you tell him he's up, and he starts warming up, and he's out there ready to go. Well, 
taken any team reps in practice last few weeks? No, just with the um, scout team. Oh, how did the uh, defense come out and play to create the turnovers? Had a lot of energy. Uh, the defense was unbelievable. I mean, I just got on them for not shutting them out. They took offense to that. Um, <laughs> but now you know, I know I was being sarcastic with them, but no, they were unbelievable today. Um, did great versus the run, and um, getting those two turnovers were huge, and getting the one on special teams. Yeah, 45 runs, I, sometimes you go into games thinking 30 runs, whatever. Were you, did you have an idea of you wanted to make that – Close to that many runs. In the uh, yeah, we always want to run the ball. Um, we definitely didn't have a goal of 45, um, but usually that means some good things are happening. That means your defense is playing well. It means you're controlling the clock, and it usually means you're doing all right on third down. Um, I think they played the exact same way they played last week. I mean, they got after those guys um, until those three drives and a couple penalties. So I thought we did a better job not extending some drives. I know we did it on one. I think we, we had that one penalty on the big PI. Um, but I thought we did a better job overcoming. I mean, that did happen, and they were going down to score. And I think that was a drive we got a – we ended up getting a pick inside the 10. Um, so it's uh, – I think that was the difference. Um, when we did make a mistake, we were able to overcome it. So when Jimmy Close was Kittle to playing today and what's your – Optimism level I feel I thought he was close this week, and so I feel a lot better about next week. So when Jimmy came back, that how surprised you were that that you were able to get him back at all um, was uh, you're thinking about the next play and everything. Was, was there even a moment where it was, oh, boy, am I glad that happened? Um, no, um, I mean. No, I mean, yeah, I'm very, we feel very fortunate to have Jimmy here as our number two quarterback, and especially when your starter gets hurt, it's good to know the experience and how good of a player he is. Um, you know, I think I think we feel like we've lost our starting quarterback. This would be, I think, the fourth time in six years. Um, so we have been in this before, and I do feel we're a little more prepared um, with our backup right now. So um, I'm happy for that. As far as your backup, you've gone from Garoppolo proven to Brock Purdy. Unproven, I mean, I assume you're going to add another quarterback. Would you like to trade? I mean, I know this just happened, but you want someone that, who's done this before? As a, as a backup? As a t no, I mean, if Jimmy wasn't available, we were going to go with Brock as our number two. So we got a lot of confidence in him. And um, obviously, we got to get another guy in this building, um, whether it's a third or whether it's on the practice squad. But um, we need a third guy. Uh, I know you're focused on today and season but if Trey misses this misses the rest of this year when he comes back next year he will have not played considerably for three years and not ever at a major college level is there a precedent for what he becomes not that I know of you might know that history better than me but no it's it's unfortunate for him um, we're really hurting for him and uh, we we're really hoping to see a lot of them this year. So to have that bad of an injury to where you can't come back from it, um, uh, we feel for him. But um, if anyone can do it, it's him. Wait, one more. When Jimmy came in and he went immediately past, it was like four straight passes. Was that because of the change of quarterback or something you just saw on the defense? Um, I think we were still stuck with our openers. Um, I forget what the down and distance was that. He came in on a third down, right? It was right after second and eight. Yeah, so we threw on the third down, and no, but that was just a coincidence. All right, guys, thanks. Thank you.